are here for Expanding Your Horizons discussion. Welcome. Welcome to Staten Island, New York, because you're actually talking about everywhere else other than Staten Island, and we know that where is the most interesting, cultured, intellectual place in the universe? Wagner College. Wagner College, Staten Island. Thank you, Staten Island. So, uh, I'm Dr. Lieberman. For those of you whom I have not met, um, I'm the provost for Wagner College. And this is a very, very exciting session for those who are presenting and for those who are listening. Because expanding your horizons, which seems like it may have been here forever, is actually really pretty darn new at Wagner College. We started expanding your horizons about four years ago, Ruta, would you say? Four, five, five, five years, five years ago. ago. Yeah. Mohammed, thank you, Dr. Loudon. Five years ago, and I don't have the exact numbers, but I would guess 10, <coughs> maybe 20 students a year prior to five years ago did any sort of study abroad. Would you say that we were pretty, that's pretty accurate? And now we have, with Expanding Your Horizons and the semester-long study abroad and the year-long study abroad, we probably have 250 to 300 students a year, would you say, between Expanding Your Horizons and the other, Italy, etc. So we went from 10 students a year to about 300 students a year. So, who in here is a math major? <laughs> well, if you were a math major, you'd very quickly be able to say that percentage increase in five years. But since none of us are math majors, I would say that is an enormous increase. <laughs> so, on our exam, we would write enormous and we would, that would be a check as, a, as positive. The reason that we started expanding your horizons, well, many reasons. But the primary reason is that we at Wagner College believe deeply that every single student should have the opportunity to expand their intellectual and cultural and regional horizons as much as they possibly can. Not every student, because of their major or their financial situation or their personal inclinations can take a semester or a year in another country or another region or another location. But having expanded your horizons for 10 days or so either in the, over the winter break or now starting for particular classes over the spring break, spring break every student at Wagner College should have the opportunity to have at least one opportunity in their four years, at least one, to do something that really expands your intellectual and academic horizons. And that's how Expanding Your Horizons came about. So it has been growing more and more every year. This year we had nine courses that went, that had the Expanding Your Horizons opportunities. And this upcoming year, this is a little commercial for you, on the back page, we have, I believe, 11 options next year and potentially 13. We have two more, one in government and politics and Kate, the other one in... Uh, just the government and politics. Oh, one more, government and politics. Uh, we have one more option that might happen in, is it Ghana? Ghana. In Ghana. So there's lots and lots of opportunities. Remember, every one of these courses is, can, every one of these Expanding Your Horizons opportunities is connected to an actual course. So you're doing, and you're having an experience in another country that's related to the learning outcomes in the course itself. So it's a very, it's an educational <coughs> expedition for every student. And it's really, it's a wonderful thing that happens here at Wagner College. So before we hear from the students that are going to be presenting, which is really why we're here, I would like to just take a moment and recognize a few people. First, and I hope I don't miss anybody, uh, if it weren't for Dr. Aloudin, 
who's coordinating all of these Expanding Your Horizons courses. And there's a great effort before you ever go on the course to vet the courses as they're proposed to make sure they have the integrity and the rigor that we demand here at Wagner College. Dr. Loudon coordinates all of that. So can we give him a hand? It's a <laughs> And what course are you doing next year? A little commercial for you. Chemistry 540. Chemistry 540. It, he believes it should be a required course for everybody at Wagner <laughs> College, but it's not. <laughs> chemistry 540 in Bangladesh. It's, it's a chemistry course, but no prerequisite. Oh, mm -hmm. that was smart. Uh, and then I'd like to recognize also Kate Steingraber, who is that person that everybody talks to at some point around any international experience. Or and I'd like to take a minute and recognize Dean Shaw Gordon because she is thinking about this every 24 hours a day, seven days a week, way too much, but thank God she's doing it. So she's thinking about how all of this fits together with campus life. So thank you. So the other, the people who are here that are not students, I would just like you to know who they are. So we have Kristen Krista from the Advancement Office. We have Todd Price, Professor of Theater and Arts Administration. Ken, well, let's hold our applause until we're done with this. Ken Lamb, who is uh, from the Advancement Office and Alumni Relations. We're holding our applause, but if we could do applause, we would have. Thank you, Ken. Uh, Kristen Kohler, who is also in development and helps us with grants around all of this so that we have external funds to help subsidize. Kristen, you might want to give her applause because it's fun. Really. Oh, not everybody. <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, we also have Dr. Margarita Sanchez, who is the chair of languages. We have uh, Dr. Katika Urbank, who's in languages as well. We have Jake Brown, who's getting married this weekend. Got married. Getting married. To Darby, baby. Oh, to Darby. He's sitting right next to him. Sorry. Congratulations to both of you. We're delighted. Dr. Steve Snow in government and politics. Donna Toscano, who is in Parker Hall, and really we all report to Donna Toscano. Uh, Curtis Wright, who's in campus life. Everybody knows Curtis Wright. Lee Manchester, who films everything and makes us all famous. <laughs> Did I leave out anybody who's not a student? Wow, okay. Oh, Mary Zamfini, who makes us all wonderful writers and helps us every day with peer tutoring. And if you're not doing well in the class, it's because you didn't talk to Mary Zamfini to help get peer tutored. So thank you, Mary. And show off. Where are you? Oh, hiding in the back, Dr. Who, uh, the chair of government and politics. So a hand for everybody who's here to support. So with that, we're going to have each of the Expanding Your Horizons trip individuals come up and talk about their trip. Is that the plan? Wonderful.